Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. Last time, we made our way through the Hear You Valley. This time, well, in between times, I said I was going to do some farming, and I decided against it. I'm a little too close to uh, the next level, and we don't really need the Dragon Fangs too much right away anyway, so I'm actually going to be coming back here and I'll be doing it off screen, though I will be telling you uh, when I do that. Uh, just kind of for now, I would stay at level 23 or level 24. Definitely don't go above level 24. It'll just make learning the next three blue magic spells uh, that are level based and the final three much, much easier. Um, after we do that, we can actually make a detour right out of the, uh, the next dungeon and come back here and do the farming if we want, or we can do it after whatever works for uh, each person there. So anyway, now that we've done that, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can take down the upcoming boss fight. One is to abuse the crap out of blue magic. One is to abuse the crap out of combine. And let's just throw some gear on because I forgot to do this. Uh, let's see, and you actually, you can stay as, no, I'll change it to white mage. White mage with combine. There we go. And there you're all set up for doing any of that. And because I don't think I actually saved last time. Go. Oh, we gotta go around. I, for whatever reason, every time we have to go around to this side, I always think back. Run away! Yeah, they uh, throw their bones and they reduce you down to critical, if I didn't mention that before. Um, but I always think back to Final Fantasy VI, because I'm more familiar with Final Fantasy VI than I am Final Fantasy V. And I just remember there was the, uh, the one area where we end up meeting our martial arts-based friend, who liked to bum-rush everybody for some reason. Or maybe I just liked him to bum-rush everybody, because, wow, that's a lot of damage. Anyway, here are you plant. Or not. Oh, the girls are down. Let's get them out of there. And they're fine. But here you plan to tax people. That old tree's really a monster. Props if you get the uh, reference there. <laughs> Ah, this is why they hear you've been dying out. This is basically their implication is that, uh, yeah, the, uh, this has been killing off all of the, uh, the hear you as they've been coming here. Now, what happens here is the hear you plant summons the flowers and each of the different flowers has a different, um, status effect that they inflict with the regular tax. As you can see, the one up front hit us with old on Bart's. That's why he's now, uh, got the gray hair. Now, for the easy ways to take care of this guy first, Phoenix down. I'll start showing off what these do. Dark matter, target this guy. And this guy inflicts paralysis, does death potion. There are other ways of inflicting instant death as well. The remainder of these guys only have 100 HP each. The main guy, the plant itself, has 12,000 HP. So as soon as we do that, the rest of the, um, that one's on darkness and we can finish off the uh, the rest of these guys, except for door thing, very easily, and we win the fight. Another way of taking him down is he's also susceptible to gravity, meaning you can use Death Claw to basically two-shot him and then use a multi-targeted spell and take down everyone. Since we've already seen that, uh, I am going to show off a slightly different method. Uh, but I do need to switch up some of my jobs first, so give me a quick sec and I'll just meet you in the fight there. Okay, we've got most of our uh, classes left. Um, I got a few things set up, but for the most part, I didn't... Uh, it didn't really matter all that much. I, X fight and all other weapon effects do work with aim, as we've just found out, and I just found out prior to this. Uh, what I want to do is... Now, all of these guys are weak to, or susceptible to stop, according to the wiki, but it doesn't seem to work. So, what I want to do is I want to cast Sleep on these guys, which is why I have a Black Mage in. Uh, I do want to cast Slow on you, because you're also susceptible to that. 
even though the main guy doesn't really do anything. And yeah, so those things will die and they will reform all the time. However, if you put them all to sleep, then they're unable to do that. Uh, do note that using the build up command with the double lances will, you'll spend the build up time, you'll deal double damage, but you only hit the one time. So there's that. Uh, let's see here. We get uh, Comet going on this guy. He's not weak to anything in particular, 12,000 HP, so uh, you can cast Golem to pretty much negate all damage. In fact, I'm going to do that now, I think. And then we can get uh, Sleep going on the remaining guys afterward. But basically what Golem will do, as you'll see once they get another chance to attack me, guess I got to get Sleep on them a little faster, is... Uh, It'll take all the damage for me. You'll notice uh, Golem will show up and blocks the amount of damage. It also blocks the uh, damage or the uh, status effect that would be associated with it. Now, Terrain is a useful ability in here if it doesn't do Gust. If it does Gust, they seem to be resistant to... Uh... Let's just cast Titan there. They uh, seem to be resistant to Wind even though Wiki doesn't say it. But, uh, yeah, they only have 100 HP for those little guys, so don't worry about them too much. Basically, just beat away on this guy. He's not all that difficult at this point. Aim, if you get lucky enough to do X-Fight on one, will make things a lot easier for you. Um, if you get lucky when using Terrain here, it will do Earthquake. That's not Earthquake. Uh, because Earthquake is effective, hits all enemies. It's not as good as Titan, but it's still decently good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this fight if you're not going to cheese your way through it with Death Claw or Instant Death. But, you know, the option's there if you uh, care to do it that way. 10 ABP and an Elixir. I'll take it. And we unmutated the plant, I guess. Let's take it back to the castle. Always love that fanfare music. Now I should probably heal that even though it doesn't really matter on a mage like that. Uh, let's throw dash on, why not? Good enough. And oh, I thought there was a, an exit here. There is not. So instead, we will use Dimension Magic, cast the exit spell, and warp ourselves all the way out of this dungeon. And yeah, I will, uh, we have to go through this city again. I will meet you back in the castle ball. And we're back. Just made our way back here off screen. And did the additional running that I was talking about in the previous episode there. I uh, didn't do it right away because I didn't do any of the grinding or the farming that I said I was gonna do. So I figured why bother. Anyway, you must be ex minion. Wait, what? So, they're not gonna let us in. So, we're gonna jump in the moat. Mm hmm, sure. Come on, Barts. There you go. And as we saw when we were here before, just head all the way up here. And we press this one, and we'll send ourselves all the way back down. And we get in the castle anyway. What do you have to say? Just being co Yeah, well, you're kind of stupid. Yeah, well, you should have been able to confirm by just looking at him. Apparently, they didn't. Anyway, now that we're back here, we need to uh, head up here. Nope, get out of my way. This side, and... Oh, hello, Kara. Who's calling us? Now, in this translation, they translated this uh, character's name as a, a slur for Italian-Americans. I'm going to use the name that they used in, I think, every other translation, Gil. So, whatever it says, that, I'm just going to call him Gil. So yes, we are going to go talk to Gil. At least, that's the plan. 
Who is this Gil? He's a sage who's lived for 700 years. The one who predicted the crystals in your world would shatter. Hmm. May have found a way to defeat x -Death. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we'll uh, go do that. But you need to hear you. Yeah, we've got the hear you plan. You should be all fine in about two seconds. That's how potions work in this game, right? And pretty much all other Super Nintendo games. There's never, it's like, oh, here's the potion, and then he needs to be uh, resting for about a week's worth of game time before you can make use of him. Which, you know, would make more sense, but oh well. It's northeast of the Hiryu Valley. It's in a small island off the continent. Good to know. We will uh, head there as soon as we heal up the Hiryu. It's funny how uh, Lena was stuck inside the uh, Moogle there for a little bit. Anyway, yeah, this is a fan translation, by the way, so, you know, and was also finished, like, over a decade ago, so. Cut these guys some slack. I'm sure not everyone would uh, be aware of that. In fact, uh, I, I think I remember hearing about it being a slur when I was a kid, and then when I, by the time I played this game, I'd forgotten. So I was, you know, gung-ho about calling them, you know, what they called them in this game, and Meanwhile, it was only years later, someone uh, reminded me, oh, right, shit, um, oops. <laughs> anyway, it's because of the weed that here you're becoming extinct. He doesn't trust it. Makes sense. If he doesn't make him eat the plant, he will die. And because Lena seems to love dragons so, so much, she eats the dragon plant, the hear you plant, that's poisonous to humans. Every time we have to save a hear you, we have to save Lena too. Well, it seemed to work. We saved the hear you. But at the same time, Lena. Are you insane? Yeah, wasn't your brightest move. I like the little animation with the uh, jump that they did for uh, Ferris there. They just, they don't do a lot of that in this game and the, the few times they do, they kind of stick out. Lena, what have you done to yourself? What do you have there? Oh, she's got magic, um, here you plant, you know, um, antidote or something like that. I have no idea. They, they always just pull this stuff out of their ass, so I'll go with it. Yeah, she's a little on the crazy side. Oops, I'm sorry, but it's all good because we're fine now, right? I, I'm fine. No, I think you're pushing yourself a little too much, too. There you go. We all have to push ourselves too far. I'll be fine. Yeah, everyone's overdoing it, except for Bart. He's over there in a lounge chair taking a nap. Okay, that's me. Ideally. While at work. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, you take a nap. We're going to go uh, find Gil here and see what we can do with that. Awesome. So we got to hear you back. It's all healed up. Len is all healed up. Now we got to get uh, poor, uh, you know, uh, afraid of heights, Bart's back on the dragon and get him flying around again. I'm sure he's going to love this. I guess it flies lower than it does on the airship, so we shouldn't be as annoyed, or as airsick, or however he deals with it. Yeah, they they basically stop talking about it after the first cup, you know, the first time they mention it, and then they explain why he's afraid of heights, you know, and then they never mention it again, at least to my knowledge. Anyway, bye, Kara. See you later. I heard they got a, a Supergirl uh, 
you know, speaking of Kara, we got a Supergirl uh, Netflix series or some kind of a series now. Is that any good? I don't know. I haven't watched uh, a lot of the uh, the Netflix based series. Um, there's not really a whole lot we can do at the moment. Oh, um, there is one thing I will mention though. Uh, down here, there is a cave. Let's fly over here. There is a cave over here that you could go into. Um, there's a super boss in here. Uh, it just leads over to the other side, which leads back to the big bridge. I don't think you can pass the big bridge, or if you do, you can't get into the excess castle. But uh, the super boss in here is too powerful for us right now, so I'm gonna come back and do it later when I have a better setup for it. But, and mainly just more levels, but. Anyway, now that we've done all that, we can head up here, and it's literally right up here. So we can head right in here and see if we can go find Gil, who apparently lives on an island by himself. Let me guess, we got a mode of transportation, we went somewhere, now we're gonna lose it. Seems to be a trend in this game. Crap! The island! To the Batmobile! Wait, where'd the here you go? Where'd we go? Did we make it out of there? Did we survive? Oh, hello, X-Death. That's what happens to any who oppose me. <laughs> Comical villain laugh. Yeah, they love that. Hmm? Oh, does that mean we died? No, that means here you can fly and swim, apparently. Badass! Love dragons, man. All right, and from here, if we uh, check our map with the Y button there, you'll see that uh, we've been to, I believe, the continent to the uh, northeast. Uh, the desert is where we found the Mughal uh, forest there. On the, uh, the southeast there is where Excess Castle is. We've been on all of the uh, points there on the... Uh, the island that we just came from, Bal Castle and the Hiryu Valley and Kelb. So there's only two other dots we can take a look at. One is to the far uh, west there. Uh, we can't go to that one yet. So the only one left is the one directly to the west, I think. Not, uh, not the far west. But that would be this castle here. And that castle will be explored next time because I'm running short on time. I don't like making the episodes with uh, with some of these older games too long because it seems kind of tedious and there's usually good points to stop off because a lot of the cutscenes don't last, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time. With games like Final Fantasy X, the previous LP, I tended to have a lot more longer episodes because the cutscenes were weird or I wanted to finish an idea or a dungeon or something. But now that we have the ability to go through things, you know, and keep things consistent around 20 minutes, that's what I'm going to try and aim for. But anyway, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.